Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Perhaps we have all heard of the hadith of Ghadir Khum. You know, when the Prophet was returning home from his first and last Hajj, known as the Farewell Hajj, Hajjatul Wada, where the angel Jibreel descended to the Prophet carrying an extremely important message. What was it? Keep watching this video to find out. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Islam for You, the best place to gain Islamic and Quranic knowledge. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel and click on that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So let's get right into it. As the Prophet was returning home from his farewell Hajj in which all Muslims had to participate, suddenly the angel Jibreel came to the Prophet and revealed the following verse of the Quran. Ya ayyuha rasul balligh ma unzila ilayka min rabbik wa illam taf'al fama ballaghta risalatah wallahu ya'simuka min an-nas inna Allah la yahdi al-qawm al-kafirin O apostle communicate that which has been sent down to you from your lord and if you do not you will not have communicated his message and Allah shall protect you from the people Indeed, Allah does not guide the faithless lot. According to commentaries of the Qur'an and narrations from both Shia and Sunni sources, this important and urgent mission of the Prophet was to introduce and appoint Ali, his son-in-law and cousin, as his successor and caliph of the Muslims after him. Although this was not the first time the Prophet introduced Ali as his successor, his eminence had done so on numerous occasions throughout the 23 years of his prophethood. But why Ali? Was it because he was his son-in-law and cousin? No, he chose Ali because Allah had commanded him to do so. After all, Ali was the worthiest person for the caliphate. After the prophet, he was the most knowledgeable, most pious, the wisest, strongest, bravest, and most intelligent person. Ghadir Khum was an area next to a pond called Khum where the Muslim pilgrims would separate on their path from Mecca to their cities and countries. Therefore, this was the perfect time to announce Ali as a successor to the Prophet because it was the last location where the Muslims would be present. Hence, the Prophet told the travelers to stop there so he could deliver an important sermon. First, after praising Allah and thanking Him, the Prophet asked the believers whether he has more authority over them than they have over themselves, and they all confessed that he does. Then the Prophet said, Whoever I am his master and have authority over, then Ali is his master and has authority over him. Thus, the Prophet announced Ali as his successor, after which, the Muslims came one by one and pledged their allegiance to Imam Ali. Finally, Allah revealed the verse of Ikmaluddin, meaning perfection or completion of religion, to the Prophet. Today, I have perfected your religion for you, and I have completed my religion upon you, and I have approved Islam as your religion. We celebrate this great Eid, known as Eid al-Qadir, due to the historical and religious significance of this event, where Allah perfected and completed Islam by appointing Ali salam as a successor to the Prophet, peace be upon him and his progeny. This Eid is known as Eid Allah al-Akbar, meaning the greatest Eid. Alright, that's all for now. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you benefited from this video. Also, don't forget to check out our website where you can find useful Islamic courses and eye-opening articles. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.